Newsletter Almorad America July 2024 Launch of Salehat Under the supervision of Javed Ahmed Gomdi, a quarterly magazine named Salehat has been launched specifically for the education and training of women. Muhammad Hassan Ilyas is overseeing it, while Naeem Ahmed Baloch is serving as the editor, and Yasmin Farak is the assistant editor. This initiative by the Gomdi Center has been highly appreciated by women. Readers can access this magazine on the Gomdi Center's website. Purpose of the Gomdi Center Last month, the Director of Research and Academics at Gomdi Center of Islamic Learning, USA, Mr. Hassan Ilyas, gave an interview to Saqib Islam, a representative of Voice of America. In the interview, he explained the purpose of establishing the Gomdi Center in America. He stated that the purpose of establishing the Gomdi Center is to develop the ability in Muslim youth to study religion consciously. Furthermore, he described the Gomdi Center as a foundation for people of all schools of thought and religions, emphasizing that they want to convey the message to the world to understand Islam through the lens of knowledge and to accept the opinions of all scholars based on reasoning, not blind following. The recording of this interview can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Launch of Online Kanka The Gomdi Center has initiated an online Kanka. This is primarily a program related to self-purification, where Mr. Moise Umjud discusses self-improvement and training and answers related questions posed by people. A session of this program is broadcast weekly on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Tufheem Al Athar Project. Under the auspices of Gomdi Center of Islamic Learning, USA, a program titled Tufheem Al Athar has been launched. This program includes explanations and interpretations of the sayings of the companions and their followers, along with QA sessions based on selected sayings. Dr. Syed Mutiwar Rahman hosts this program, with Dr. Amar Khan Nasser participating as a guest. In June 2024, Two programs were recorded, discussing topics like the distinctive status of the companions in religious knowledge and practice, the significance given to the understanding and practice of the companions and their followers in religious tradition, the nature and scholarly objectives of the Tufim al Athar project, and which companion sayings will be included in this collection. These programs can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Behavior of Political, Social, and religious leaders. In his article, Syed Munzor al Hassan, editor of Ishraq, USA, discusses how political, social, and religious leaders should behave with their colleagues and associates. Citing verses from the Quran and the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he writes that it is essential for leaders to speak kindly and lovingly with their colleagues, listen attentively to their advice, overlook their mistakes, and, most importantly, respect their dignity. If people do not receive such behavior, they become disheartened and may withdraw or even turn to opposition and hostility. This article can be read in the June 2024 issue of Ishraq, USA. Weekly Q&A Sessions with Javed Ahmed Gomdi The Gomdi Center holds weekly live Q&A sessions, where Mr. Hassan Ilyas presents various questions received by the Gomdi Center to Mr. Gomdi, who then answers them. Important questions asked in these sessions last month include, the term, Sufi, and Prophet. And, is a human milk bank permissible? The recordings of these Q&A sessions can be viewed on the institution's YouTube channel. Review of objections on, what is Hadith? For several months, the Gomdi Center has been discussing the topic, what is Hadith, in a video series addressing 23 objections. After covering all the fundamental discussions on this topic, the objections and questions raised by viewers during the previous sessions are now being addressed. Three sessions of this series were held last month. The recordings of these sessions can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Amar Khan Nasser will not be allowed to speak. This article was recently written in the context of the proceedings of a case involving an Ahmadi defendant in the Supreme Court of Pakistan. During the proceedings, religious scholars, 
after much debate with the Chief Justice, prevented Dr. Amar Khan Nasser from presenting his individual opinion in this case, arguing that it would make the decision controversial. Criticizing this behavior of the religious scholars, Mr. Hassan writes that religious scholars adopt a domineering attitude to enforce their views and seek to establish control over people's thoughts and actions. They consider their opinion as final, their statements as decisive, and anyone who disagrees with them as rebellious, misguided, and deviant. This article can be read in the previous month's issue of Ishraq, USA. Documentary on Malana Wahidodin Khan The Gandhi Center has begun producing a documentary on the life of contemporary renowned scholar Malana Wahidodin Khan. This documentary will cover all aspects of Malana Wahidodin Khan's scholarly, intellectual, research, and missionary journey, from his family background to his final efforts in Dawah, Islamic propagation. It will soon be broadcast serially on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Patience, the path to success in this world and the hereafter. In his article, Mr. Rehan Ahmed Yusufi explains the importance and virtues of patience in the light of the Quran and Hadith. He also explores its various meanings and implications. Addressing some common misconceptions about patience, he writes that it is often seen as a passive response, done out of compulsion and helplessness, limited to sorrow and hardships. And viewed as a sign of cowardice and weakness consequently, patience has not found its true place in our religious thought. Moreover, he describes patience as the key to success in this world and a means to thwart the plots and schemes of enemies. This article can be read in the June 2024 issue. Gomdi Center's Online Educational Courses Last month, Mr. Shahzad Salim developed three educational courses in English for the Gomdi Center's online learning platform. The courses are titled, Divorce Laws, Dietary Sharia and Islamic Customs, and, Jihad in Islam. The course, Dietary Sharia and Islamic Customs, has been published on the Gomdi Center's website, and the other two will be published soon. Issuance of Fatwas Based on Religious Opinions People frequently contact the Gomdi Center of Islamic Learning for legal applications of sharia, seeking guidance on issues like marriage, divorce, inheritance, and other economic and social aspects. Last month, three fatwas were issued to address various needs under the guidance of Mr. Javed Ahmed Gomdi and issued by Mr. Hassan Ilyas. Teaching Mizan in English Last month, Dr. Shahzad Salim recorded lectures in English on various topics from Mizan. These topics include the philosophy of Hajj, punishment for theft, punishment for false accusation, humanity, and fundamental factors of a happy married life. These lectures can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Ilmo Hikmet with Gomdi. In the program Ilmo Hikmet with Gomdi, Broadcast on Dunya News Channel in June 2024, the topics discussed were 10 questions about atheism, the importance of Eid al adha and sacrifice, characteristics of conversation, the humanity of the Prophet, and Q&A. Recordings of these programs are available on the institution's YouTube channel. Al-Bayan, Quran Translation Audiobook Under the Gomdi Center's Tazkir Bil Quran Project, Last month saw the presentation of recitations and translations of Surah Al-Kaf and Surah An-Nur. The Quran translation is by Mr. Shah Nawaz, and the recitation of the Quran is by Mishari Rashid Al-Afasi. Recordings can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Ask Dr. Shahzad Salim This is a live monthly Q&A session where Dr. Shahzad Salim answers various questions related to religious, ethical, and social topics. Participants can ask questions in both Urdu and English. Islam Study Circle In this session by Dr. Shahzad Salim, various religious, ethical, and social topics are discussed in the light of the Quran and Hadith. This session consists of three parts. In the first part, a topic is selected from the Quranic verses and explained. In the second part, selected Hadith are discussed. And in the third part, an excerpt from the Bible is analyzed. At the end of the program, questions related to the topic are answered. 
Last month's session discussed topics like beliefs of faith, the vanity of the world, and the guidance of Jesus Christ for humanity. This session is conducted in English and can be viewed on the institution's YouTube channel. Weekly Lessons on the Quran and Hadith In June 2024, live sessions of Quran and Hadith lessons were held under the Gomdi Center, where Javed Ahmed Gomdi taught verses 6-26 to of Surah Al-Kaf in the Quran sessions, and the Hadith sessions discussed the punishment of the grave. Recordings of these lessons can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Shahzad Salim's Online Private Consultation Sessions Every month, Mr. Shahzad Salim holds online private consultation sessions where people seek his advice on various personal and family-related issues. Last month, over 30 sessions were conducted, during which people consulted Mr. Shahzad Salim on problems faced by parents and issues related to adolescence and marriage. Makamat Audiobook The Gomdi Center has released an audiobook of Mr. Javed Ahmed Gomdi's book, Makamat. This book is a collection of Mr. Gomdi's diverse writings, divided into three parts, the first part contains his emotions, feelings, and events, the second part presents his explanations and opinions on interpretive issues of religion, and the third part is dedicated to critical essays. This book is being serially published in audio format on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Teaching Albion in English Mr. Shahzad Salim is teaching Javed Ahmed Gomdi's Quranic exegesis Albion in English. Last month, Dr. Shahzad Salim recorded two lectures covering verses 1 to 44 of Surah Al Imran. These recordings are available on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. Suffer There Suffer. This program is based on the intellectual journey of Dr. Amar Khan Nasser, hosted by Mr. Naeem Baloch. In this program, Dr. Amar Khan Nasser answers Mr. Naeem Baloch's questions about his intellectual journey. Last month, Two sessions were recorded, in which Dr. Amar discussed his family background, educational stages, and some important aspects of his intellectual journey. Recordings of these sessions are available on the institution's YouTube channel. Blasphemy Law, Who is Responsible? Who is responsible for the trend of killing people over blasphemy in Pakistan? Mr. Hassan Ilyas raised this question in the context of a recent blasphemy incident in Sawat. In his discussion, he strongly condemned the incident and identified those responsible for such occurrences. He stated that such incidents are increasing day by day in our society, and unfortunately, it is all happening in the name of religion. Moreover, he presented some useful solutions to prevent such incidents. The recording of this discussion is available on the institution's YouTube channel. Summary of the video series on 23 Objections in English In this video series, objections and criticisms from traditional religious thought on Javed Ahmed Gomdi's ideas are discussed. Dr. Shahzad Salim is summarizing all the topics discussed so far in English. Last month, Dr. Shahzad Salim summarized the topic, The Second Coming of Jesus, from the 23 Objection series. Recordings of these programs can be viewed on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel. New Era, New Challenges Mr. Hassan Ilyas recorded a podcast titled, New Era, New Challenges. This podcast discusses modern challenges facing religion, the thought of traditional scholars, and Mr. Gomdi's thought. In response to a final question by host Mr. Ali, he stated that the thought of a great person like Javed Ahmed Gomdi is not the heritage of any individual but a trust of nations. The legacy of such a person's thought is transferred to those who fully understand and can convey it to others. The recording of this program can be viewed on the institution's YouTube channel. Explanation of Mizan and Furkan. Some time ago, Dr. Shahzad Salim recorded an English summary of the topics, Mizan, and Furkan, discussed in the 23 Objections video series. This recording has been published on the Gomdi Center's YouTube channel.